roofs peeling back, and tree limbs flying. Hurricane Idalia roared through Perry, Florida, with wind gusts near 90 miles an hour. I felt the roof coming off, so I grabbed my 3 year sign, and I ran downstairs to the downstairs room, and they opened the door for me. Dwayne Williams and his son are okay, but his second floor apartment was wrecked. It's destroyed, and so, yeah, everything's gone. Storefronts were blown in, brick walls collapsed, and thousands of trees snapped in the wind. All these big oak trees around here, all these big pine trees, it does it definitely makes you nervous. Bricks started falling close to our patio, it was crazy. It wasn't like a hurricane that we've had before here. Closer to the coast, here in Steenhatchee, Hurricane Idalia pushed a wall of water upriver. That storm surge carried everything in its way. Just looked out your window to see what the heck was floating by. We saw boats, dumpsters, uh, a lot of uh, docks. It's just sadder in a smaller town. So many people rely on these small businesses to make a living. After riding out the storm inside a church, Diana Markham says she won't stay behind next time an evacuation is ordered. It was scary. It, you know, things kept hitting the door and sounded like the roof was coming off. I don't think I'll stay again. <laughs> We're done. Search and rescue members say they're glad that most people got away from the coast before landfall. The evacuation orders, like you said, it, it does appear that people did seem to heed those better this time, and I'm really proud to see that. For AccuWeather, I'm Bill Waddell.